It is late afternoon on September 8, 1900, and Galveston, Texas is caught in the grip of a ferocious hurricane. The winds pick up to this 100 miles an hour. At 100 miles an hour, roughly, the wind just peels off the, the uh, surface of the ocean, so you're having nothing but white foam flying by. There were the rising swells, the heavy flooding, the accelerating, intensifying wind. Imagine the, um, the terror that you would feel um, facing this kind of circumstance. There's no power. There is absolutely no communication with the outside world. All the telegraph and telephone lines have been knocked out. All the bridges to the mainland have been torn out. So you are completely and utterly alone. Um, and now for a lot of people, that was, uh, must have been just an incredibly horrifying moment. The bay water was coming in from the bay. The bay and the gulf waters were meeting. The tide had come up so high when we entered our There was nothing there the to stop the water from coming. At that time, the city was below sea level. 6.15 p.m. As the two men argue, the winds of the hurricane shift direction. Now they are coming from the west. It is a telltale sign that the eye wall of the hurricane has arrived. The eye wall of the hurricane is the absolute worst, the very strongest thunderstorms, the highest winds, torrential downpours, you couldn't see anything in it. The storm surge hits its peak as the eye wall encounters the, the island. That's where the deepest water is and the highest push. 6.30 p.m., Isaac stands at his door. 120 mile per hour gusts shriek past his home. Embedded in all that water that's going on here, you have the debris from houses that have already been uh, destroyed flying by at high rates of speed, hitting your building and the noise, and that lasts for hours. Then something truly remarkable happens. The sea itself rises four feet in four seconds. And if you can try and think about what that meant for people throughout Galveston, it was an incredible moment. You've got this 25-foot dome of water coming across the city of Galveston. The entire city was inundated with water. The storm surge hits the island, and I think this is where people realized, oh my gosh, that wasn't the worst. You know, this is the worst. 